Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. We are back this week with Samson, Simon Sheriff, and today we're going to be talking about the British High Commissioner in Pakistan, Jane Marriott. Recently, Jane Marriott was in, in Kashmir meeting Kashmiri leaders. What was that about, Samson? I don't know because uh, in 1947, 48, 49, UK did not support Pakistan enough. Mm -hmm. There was a flaw in the partition plan. Uh, it was called the bleeding wound, Kashmir. Mm -hmm. And there were other areas in India also which should have ceded to Pakistan. If there could be a distance of 1,000 miles between East and West Pakistan, then distances of Hyderabad and Junagar and the islands in the Indian Ocean was not. Uh, it, it was inconsequential. Pakistan could have been mm -hmm. a country. Uh, with five or six territories uh, uh, all around. So uh, I failed to understand uh, why Jane Marriott was meet, meeting uh, uh, Kashmiri leaders. Mm -hmm. Did she go there as solidarity with the Kashmiri people? No, not at all. Uh, you see, Jane Marriott has an interesting history. For the past many years, many, many years, she has been in the Middle East and Greater Middle East, what we call the MENA territories. Hmm. Uh, there was there were issues in Yemen. She was around there. Then for a long time, she was an advisor, a terrorism expert with the ISAF and NATO forces in Afghanistan. Then uh, that was the time when Pakistan had to fight a very intense war and terror against TTP and all these elements, Swath included. Then she popped up in Kenya and there were allegations against her by the Kenyans, newspapers and everything that she had managed to not only affect a regime change but big elections in favor of a party which is even now in power. Mm -hmm. And there were news that she was changed from there. And then she lands up in Pakistan. Uh, and uh, Pakistan is undergoing the same turmoil, turmoil political instability. And she's right here. She's meeting political leaders. She's meeting Kashmiris. She's meeting everyone. Uh, the notable absence is she has not met any diehard political leader of Pakistan, Tariq and So, uh, it's a clear indication uh, that she's an expert in this stuff world over and she specializes in the Middle East and MENA territories, which I call the Greater Middle East. And she's been imposed upon us to keep an eye and manage affairs in all these political crises, self-generated political crises that Pakistan is passing through. So, uh, and it is not new. It is not new. It is uh, ever since Pakistan was made. I talked in a previous program how Pakistan came into existence. This intervention has been there one way or the other. First, we had to fight the mm -hmm. Kashmir War. Uh, our chief was from Britain. So we had certain reverses. Uh, orders of Qaeda Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and Liaquat Ali were not followed. Uh, you know the circumstances in which Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah passed away. And then uh, when the British chiefs were leaving, Liaquat Ali wanted to appoint a commander-in-chief of his choice. So he chose Lieutenant General Iftikhar. Surprisingly, General Iftikhar blew up in an air crash and route to Karachi or somewhere. And then it was all manipulated and Ayub Khan became the commander in chief of the armed forces. It didn't end there. Uh, you know, Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan was assassinated. Uh, you know that the faith met by Hussain Sheikh Sorwardi, whose policies were Pakistan centric, development orientated. He was a slightly he was slightly left-leaning also. Hmm. 
we went and when the Yukon as commander in chief went via Turkey to Pentagon, he was given a great reception there and he had been to Turkey first. Turkey was then an accomplice of NATO and also in Santo. So he saw Turkish, a modern Turkish army, with the equipment the Pakistan army had not even dreamed of. So when mm -hmm. he went to Pentagon, he told them, I want the same equipment. They said, we'll give you. And some conditions were discussed. And uh, he agreed to everything. And then he was sitting and brooding, thinking. So they asked him, are you worried you will not get a good reception in Pakistan? He said, no, I'm not worried. Mm -hmm. I am thinking how I will fire the high command of the military in Pakistan and uh, become strong and continue with this policy, which he did. And you know that uh, martial law was imposed. He instigated Skandar Mirza. Martial law was imposed. He threw out Skandar Mirza. He took over uh, in a country which had two wings set apart by 100, 1,000 miles. He drafted a funny mm -hmm. type of a presidential constitution in 62. And in the course of mm -hmm. discussing that constitution, uh, one feeler which was thrown out and became evident was that West Pakistan didn't want anything to do with East Pakistan. So some uh, Bengali judges were told to insert such things and they refused. This is on record, it's written in books. And uh, the person <coughs> Ayub Khan feared most was Hussain Shahid Sarwardi, who was then in Baruch. And strangely, you know, he also blew into the air, he was assassinated. Or then it was Ayub's time when he took a stance, anti American stance, wrote a book, Friends Not Masters. He started leaning towards China. It was time for him to go. He went, Bhutto exploited the situation. But then again, Pakistan broke and when Bhutto started challenging the West once again, and he did two things, the Islamic Ummah summit in Lahore, and also the nuclear program of Pakistan. It was time for him to go and he went through the courts. Uh, and then ultimately when Zia came and he became strong, he also realized that nuclear program was a good idea. So he pursued it. The nuclear program, 90, 95% matured in Zia ul Haq's time. Uh, we were ready. And then Bhutto also had to, uh, Zia also had to go. And then you mm. see uh, successive governments, regime change, IGI, PMLN, People's Party, all this happening. Benazir Bhutto went in 1996, uh, unceremoniously by President Lagadi. It was basically because of the Afghan policy. Afghan policy was the policy of Zulfqar Ali Bhutto and Benazir Bhutto, uh, which has now been avoided after a very long time. So she also uh, had to be dismissed. Ultimately, uh, she got assassinated in 2000. Mm -hmm. And seven, and then you see how unceremoniously, with his hand-picked army chief, Musharraf had to go. For abhi bhi aap ye Supreme Court, uski death ke baad bhi, who is allowing all this to happen? So, ye ek regime change ki intervention jo hai na, ye Pakistan mein foreign sponsored bahut arse se aa rahi hai. I sent, you know, they declassify ki hai na documents CIA ne aur he took permission from the Americans to impose a martial law. Or ye Pakistan ko separate karne ka plan jo hai paasat tracer chonsat saaro mein. Is sir se mein ye ban chuka hua tha. There is so much literature available, books written by writers, jo ye batate hain ke क्या क्या होता रहा है तो ये आ, हमारा और इस पाकिस्तान में जो मेजर फर्क ये रहा है कि बंगालीज हैव ऑलवेज असर्टेड फॉर द राइट्स वेस्ट पाकिस्तानीज हैव नॉट सम पार्ट्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान लाइक ट्राइबल एरियाज थे या बलूचिस्तान था उन्होंने कोशिश की है 
अपने राइट्स को असर्ट करने की लेकिन वो सक्सेसफुल नहीं हुए फॉर टू रीजन वन दे वर अ माइनॉरिटी एंड सेकेंडली वो इतने स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं थे कि वो कर सकते क्योंकि उन्हीं के अंदर से भी और लोग निकलते रहे इन डाइवर्स फॉर्म्स वेदर दे आर राइट आर रॉन्ग इज अ डिफरेंट डिबेट तो पाकिस्तान में तो इसर्शन ऑफ राइट्स का हुआ ही नहीं है यू बी क्वाइट सरप्राइज बलोचिस्तान की जो इंक्लूजन हुई थी जो एग्रीमेंट बनी थी उसका मवाद रीडेड पॉइंट बाय खैरपुर की रियासत किस तरीके से पाकिस्तान में शामिल हुई थी यू रीडेड पॉइंट बाय पॉइंट भावलपुर का आप पढ़ें पॉइंट बाय पॉइंट उनके जम होने के बाद वो सारे जो गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स थे जम होने के बींग अमलगमेटेड इन टू पाकिस्तान वो सारे पीपल फोगॉट अबाउट इट खत्म हो गया सब कुछ हालांकि लीगली दो थिंग्स स्टिल स्टैंड तो ये एक यूसी आल साम इट अप एज दिस के द गॉडलेस स्टेट्स रशिया एंड चाइना इवन चाइना द वेस्ट लेट बाई अमेरिका विल नेवर लेट गो they have that tool of internal instability they call a trajectory us trajectory ko hamesha nose dive mein rakhenge to control pakistan bangladesh is a slightly different issue acha aapne abhi bangladesh ki baat ki so let me let me come back to bangladesh we just had an election there an election that was again you know vastly criticized as being a selection yet sheikh hasina's government came back into power the west did make a little bit of a noise and then they went on and they accepted what do you think is going on in bangladesh then bangladesh me it's the opposite hmm it's not a regime change operation it is a regime sustenance operation sustaining hmm. the regime with the use of force Uh, जो आर्मी चीफ फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम इन बांग्लादेश इज अ डाई हार्ड लॉयलिस्ट ऑफ जीना वाजिद इफ यू नो अल जजीरा में एक बड़ा लंबा चौड़ा प्रोग्राम और आर्टिकल न्यूज पे आया था और ही इज अ ठग ही इज अ गैंगस्टर हिज फैमिली इज गैंगस्टर्स इट्स अ माफिया पाकिस्तान इज वेल अवेयर सच पीपल इन पावर गैंगस्टर्स बांग्लादेश थ्रू थ्रेट ऑफ फोर्स एंड वायलेंस फैसिनेशन ये सारा कुछ है कि जो इतने ज्यादा जमात इस्लामी के लीडर्स और प्रो पाकिस्तानी लीडर्स को हैंग किया गया बांग्लादेश में सीना वाजिद के जमाने में ये सब इसी तरह हुआ है यानी मैं था कुछ जमात इस्लामी वाले थे इसा खाकवानी होते थे एक पीठ हम तीन चार लोग थे हुए राइटिंग एंड रेजिंग वॉइस इन फेवर ऑफ पाकिस्तानी इन बांग्लादेश हुआ बिंग असैसिनेटेड थ्रू दी बांग्लादेशी जुडिशरी और तो कोई नहीं कर रहा था तो ये रजीम को सस्टेन करना है बंगालीज आर नोन इन हिस्ट्री टू असर्ट देर राइट रेवोल्यूशनरी राइट का ट्रेंड ऑफ बांग्लादेश में ईस्ट पाकिस्तान जिसे हम कहते हैं पाकिस्तान में नहीं है वो हमेशा तारीख में उन्होंने किया है कभी ना कभी ये करेंगे जरूर क्योंकि उनका जो लेफ्ट है अंडरग्राउंड है उनका जो रिलीजियस राइट है वो अंडरग्राउंड है प्रो पाकिस्तानी एलिमेंट्स जो है वो अंडरग्राउंड है वो ऊपर आए थे इरशाद साहब के जमाने में अब वो फिर छुप गए हैं दोबारा छुप गए कभी ना कभी ये गुबार दोबारा आएगा ये साइकिल जो बंगाली रेवोल्यूशन का है ये उसी नहज पे आएगा जहां पर अगेन दे विल असर्ट देर राइट तो उसको बचाने के लिए ऑल दिस इट्स जस्ट लिप सर्विस के इलेक्शन फेयर नहीं थे बारह इलेक्शन तो थे लेट द सिस्टम यू you नो know, ये जो पाकिस्तान में भी लोग कहते हैं ना यार लेट द सिस्टम वर्क करप्ट है क्या हो गया जमहूरियत तो परवान चढ़े ना ये सब इसी स्कूल ऑफ थॉट के हैं मासूमियत में दे आर एक्चुअली परपेचुएटिंग द टूल्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी इन पाकिस्तान एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली एंड आई बिलीव दिस इज अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट फॉर मार्क फॉर अस टू एंड आवर शो फॉर टुनाइट because what's happening in bangladesh with the elections there and now when we meet again next week we'll be an other week closer to the to the elections um what i would like to say in in at the end is 
that we do see a lot of turmoil, a lot of shift happening in our part of the world, in, in the Pakistan subcontinent ah, well, part me, of the world with the Bangladesh. Ah, Pakistan is passing through hell hole. Absolutely. Or uh, our party, Pakistan Tadikin Saf, our hmm. leader, Imran Khan, uh, is under a lot of pressure. Uh, as we record this, Aj Fasla Hoga, election symbol ki upar. Lekin na apko ek cheez bata do. It's a very long struggle. और ये जो एक सेंटिमेंट आया हुआ है पाकिस्तानी नेशन में मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द नेशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान की सपोर्ट एंड गिव्स गिव्स अप्रूवल ऑफ इमरान खान ठीक है ना आई होप राइट दे विल बी एबल टू असर्ट देयर राइट्स विद इन द बाउंड्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जो फंडामेंटल राइट एब्सोल्युटली लॉ एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इंस्ट्राइन एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है एक पाकिस्तानी सिटीजन के लिए जिसकी सबसे ज्यादा ओवरसाइट जो है सुप्रीम कोर्ट के पास है जुडिशरी के पास है क्योंकि हमारा इलेक्शन कमीशन तो कंट्रोवर्शियल है तो आई होप एब्सोल्युटली जुडिशरी प्लेस अ रोल इट डजंट प्ले द रोल जो 1962 की कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मेकिंग में किया गया था इट डजंट जो के मोलवी तमीजुद्दीन केस में इट प्लेड ठीक है ना इट डजन प्ले द रोल जहां पर इन्होंने इंडेमिटी दी थी मिलिट्री रूल्स को याया खान के अयूब खान के जियाउल हक के और प्रेसिडेंट परवेज मुशरफ के इन्होंने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल इंडेमिटी दी थी उनके मिलिट्री रूल्स के टाइम पर तो अगर यही है तो फिर तो हमारा मुस्तबिल जो है ना इसी तरह इंस्टेबिलिटी पे रहेगा और लुक एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस इंस्टेबिलिटी हंड्रेड रुपीज डॉलर कितना गरीब का रहना मुश्किल है मेरे पास एम्प्लॉज हैं आई टॉक टू देम वी ट्राई टू हेल्प देम जितना भी हम मदद कर सकते हैं आउट ऑफ द वे जाके लेकिन पचास हजार साठ हजार रुपये महीना इनकम पाकिस्तान में इट मीन्स नथिंग महीने की दस तारीख तक आपके पास पैसे नहीं होते तो लेट्स प्रे एंड होप फॉर बेटर डेज एंड बेटर टाइम्स एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन एंड ऑन दैट नोट let's hope that constitution wins over our nazariya zarurat every time all right pakistan pakistan zindabad